lifting up Jesus and opening his word from Australia, Denmark, Israel, Japan, New Zealand, Northern Ireland, Republic of Ireland, Singapore, South Africa, United Kingdom, Thailand, the Philippines, United States, and throughout the world. You're watching Morial TV. No, it is not. It is heavy shepherding. The New Testament, the New Testament is clear. You give according to what is purposed in your heart. It is not 10% is God's and 90% is ours. It's all God's. After our families, our first financial obligation is to our local fellowship. However, however, let's understand what the scripture says about the tithing from the book of Malachi. It says, bring the tithe into the Otsar, into the treasury house. Now, this applies broadly as a principle, for sure. However, when you understand the original Hebrew, the term Otsar, that is speaking about the tithe of the clergy, of the Levites. These preachers pushing tithing so much are too ignorant to know they're talking about themselves robbing God. That's what the passage is mainly saying. Now, this is not to say the principle is not a broad one. And I have no problem with Christians tithing. I certainly wouldn't want to give God less than 10%. Nonetheless, the New Testament says, as you've purposed in your heart, your church is not simply into a wrong view of tithing. When a church does that, it's run by control freaks. It's run by heavy shepherding. It's the deeds of the Nicolaitans, a clerical overclass who are exploiting, fleecing the sheep more than likely. I do not believe you should be a member of a church like that unless it amends its policies maybe changes its leadership. No, it is not scriptural. You give what you have purposed in your heart before the Lord. You pray, God shows you what to give, and that's what you give. Thank you so much for your question. My name is Jacob Prash. <laughs>